In this video, I'll show you how to use the Postman authorization helper for OAuth 2 with Azure Active Directory. Postman is a popular tool for testing web APIs. It also allows you to organize and save your APIs into collections for reuse. So for this example, I'm going to call Dynamic CRM 2016's OData v4 web API. You'll see here I'm asking for accounts in the top three of them and just return the name field. Of course, when I click send, I get a 401 because access is denied. And ultimately, what we need to do is get an authorization header uh, passing a bearer token. And there are external tools that you can use to come in and then just paste in your, your bearer token here. But what we're going to do is use Postman's built-in authorization helper for OAuth 2.0. So the key values you need to get this right are the auth URL, the access token URL, the client ID, and the client secret. I'll paste the first two values in my blog post so you can just copy them. But the key for the auth URL is to come in here and make sure that you're using the right value for resource. Next, we need to go ahead and get the client ID and the client secret. In order to do that, I'm going to come into Azure Active Directory. Through the portal, I've navigated to my directory. And I'm going to select applications here. I'm going to add an application. If you want to add an application, my organization is developing. We'll just call this Postman. And we want the type to be a web application and or web API. This will make a little bit more sense as we complete our configuration. Go ahead and click next. These values can actually be anything, but I'll just enter getpostman.com for both of them. Now we'll go ahead and configure the application. The first thing that we'll need to do is grab that client ID. Bring it over to Postman and paste it here. Next, we need to generate a key. We'll copy that key. And I'll paste it into Postman as the client secret. And then the final thing that we need to do is come down to the reply URL. And I'll actually change this value to getpostman.com slash OF2 slash callback. And the reason for this is that Azure Active Directory will actually send the token back to this URL and then send it down to the Postman application when you click request token. And one more thing, we need to add permissions, in my case, to the application I want to pass the token to. In this case, it's Serum Online. We'll go ahead and select that. And then provide access CRM online as organization users permission. And save. So at this point, we should be able to request a token. I'm going to give this a name. And click Quest Token. Notice I'm prompted to log in. I'll click Sign In. And now you'll notice that I have a B2B test a CRM entry here in the list. So I'll go ahead and click B2B test a CRM. Notice that the header has changed and it's inserted the bearer token. So now I click send and we get our results. So in this video, I showed you how to use the authorization helper for OAuth 2.0 to request a token and add it to the headers so that you can successfully make calls to a resource protected by Azure Active Directory.